हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू रीमा विनोद एमिनेंट क्लासेस मी विनोद कुमार सिंह आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक टुडे फ्रॉम चैप्टर टू ज्योग्राफी फिजिकल फीचर्स ऑफ इंडिया द टॉपिक ऑफ द डे इज इंडियन डेजर्ट द कोस्टल प्लेन्स एंड द आइलैंड्स सो लेट्स बिगिन द इंडियन डेजर्ट्स The Indian desert lies towards the western margin of the Aravalli Hills. You can see here on the map these are Aravalli ranges. To the west of Aravalli range there is Thar desert. This desert we are going to talk about. It is an uneven sandy plain covered with sand dunes all over Uh, desert area thar desert area you can find sand dunes are very common this area receives very less rainfall the rainfall you can see here it is just 15 cm rainfall per year it has arid climate means dry climatic conditions low vegetation cover we can find here and the streams means river streams appear during the rainy season and then after disappears luni is the only largest river of this area now we'll talk about more barchans it is a kind of crescent shaped dune this we can find in more areas in the thar deserts here this picture is given to you This picture is showing the barchan. You can see it is crescent shaped. As the crescent shape moon is there in the same way, in the same shape it is. So it is crescent shaped dunes. This like dunes we are calling it barchans. Okay. The movement of dune is shown in the diagram. This is the direction of the movement of sand dunes means the sand dunes is moving forward in this direction okay actually what is happening the sand dune is always moving in the direction where the wind is moving so do you see that this is the direction of the wind and this direction of the wind when strike to the sand it erode the sand and lift it up okay so this area sand is lifted up and brought it here and in this way this process is keep on going and the sand dune is keep on moving so sand dunes are ever moving okay next kind of picture is given here this is telling to you the longitudinal dunes this is another kind of dunes which are very common in the indo pak boundary areas so you can see longitudinal dunes so these are longitudinal valley like you can see this is dune and these are the continuous dune okay and these the all are parallel of about parallel to each another that's why these are called longitudinal dunes in between here the wind is blowing in the circular motion here the wind is blowing in the circular motion and erode the sand in both side that's why this like feature is formed and it is very common on the indo pak boundary area next we are going to study here about coastal plains of india so uh, as uh, in the previous video we have discussed about the peninsular plateau so these are the coastal plains which are very close to the now we are going to discuss here about the coastal plains western coastal plains you can see this side india part is called the western coastal plain now we'll talk about the location this is the plateau part this is 
the southern plateau part we are calling it deccan plateau deccan plateau has the western ghats here okay western ghats so the location of western coastal plain is in between the arabian sea this is the arabian sea okay and this is western ghats and in between the arabian sea in between the arabian sea and western ghats the coastal plains are lying here these coastal plains are called western coastal plains now these western coastal plain if we see we can uh, we can see clearly that these coastal plains are narrow plains means a narrow strip एक पतली सी स्ट्रिप आपको दिख रही है ये कोस्टल प्लेन्स की ठीक है अभी हम कंपेयर करेंगे नेक्स्ट एडिंग जब हम लोग जाएंगे तो नेक्स्ट एडिंग में हम लोग पढ़ेंगे ईस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन तो देर विल कंपेयर इट तो वहां पे जो ईस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन है यहाँ पे भी आप देख सकते हो थोड़ा सा मैप में दिख रहा है कॉर्नर पे ठीक है तो ईस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन जो है यहाँ पे आपको वाइड दिख रहा है बट दीज आर द नैरो स्ट्रिप ठीक है नाउ इफ वी डिवाइड द कोस्टल प्लेन then we can divide into three section the upper section this parts starts from gujarat coast okay so from mumbai gujarat this area till the goa okay so this is called konkan coast here it is mentioned konkan coast okay and then the central part central part which is just close to the karnataka it is called the kannad plain okay and the southern part of the coastal plain is called the malabar coast here it is mentioned only two part but uh, you can start from here till goa it is konkan coast then the karnataka region here the coast is called the kannad coast or the kannad plain and further the kerala coast it is called the malabar coast eastern coastal plains you can see on the map of india eastern coastal plain this is showing you the eastern coastal plain area eastern coastal plains if we compare with the western coastal plain so eastern coastal plains are wider than the western coastal plains now we talk about the location location wise if we see so here it is the eastern ghats location eastern ghats okay and this water body is bay of bengal so we can say that the eastern coastal plains are located in between the eastern ghats and the bay of bengal now we can divide the whole coastal part so we can broadly divide the eastern coastal plain into two part first is the northern sarkar the north northern part of the coastal plain is called northern sarkar and the southern part of the coastal plain is called the koromandal coast but there are some local names also here the andhra pradesh part of andhra pradesh is called andhra coast and the lower part which is presently called as telangana okay that portion is called carnatic plains the plains which are near the urissa coast are called utkal coast okay so these are the local names also here you see on this coastal area there are many rivers these are the big rivers and these all rivers are making the delta which are these rivers these rivers are mahanadi the godavari the krishna the kaveri so these are the rivers here it is mahanadi okay then it is the godavari river krishna and kaveri river so these are the rivers which are making the delta on their mouth
लेक चिलिका हेयर यू सी दिस इज द लोकेशन ऑफ चिलिका लेक चिलिका इज लोकेटेड इन उड़ीसा ओके दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर ऑन द ईस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन चिलिका लेक चिलिका लेक इज द लार्जेस्ट साल्ट वाटर लेक इन उड़ीसा इन इंडिया नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट आईलैंड्स आईलैंड्स ग्रुप आईलैंड ग्रुप यू कैन सी हियर इन दिस मैप विच आर दीज आईलैंड ग्रुप दीज आर लक्षद्वीप आईलैंड ग्रुप ओके लक्षद्वीप आईलैंड ग्रुप आर लोकेटेड टू द वेस्ट ऑफ केरला कोस्ट दिस ग्रुप ऑफ आईलैंड इज कंपोज ऑफ स्मॉल कोरल आईलैंड अर्लियर दे वर नोन एज लकादीव मिनिकोय एंड अमीन दीव इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री दीज वर नेम्ड एज लक्षद्वीप आईलैंड नाउ यू मस्ट नो वॉट आर द कोरल आईलैंड और कोरल्स ओके तो कोरल्स आर द स्मॉल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म देयर एक्सक्रीटा इज द कैल्सियम कार्बोनेट देयर एक्सक्रीटा एंड स्केलेटन इज कीप ऑन सेडिमेंटेड ओवर मिलियंस ऑफ इयर्स मिलियंस ऑफ इयर्स इट टुक टू सिंथसाइज द माइक्रो कंटेंट एंड फाइनली दिस बिग आईलैंड हैज बीन फॉर्म्ड If we talk about the area, the area of Lakshadweep Islands about 32 square kilometer. Kavarati Island is the administrative headquarter of Lakshadweep Island. This island group has the great diversity of flora and fauna. The Pitti Island. The Pitti Island is the uninhabited island, but it has a bird sanctuary also. This island lies close to the equator so here equatorial climatic condition has been observed this area has the thick forest cover also you can again take a close look of the islands these are the islands known as lakshadweep islands okay and here it is the big picture given to you now The next is Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Andaman and Nicobar Islands are lying to the east of Tamil Nadu. They are bigger in size, they are more in number and scattered also. The entire group of islands is divided into two broad categories. The Andaman in the north this Andaman in the north and the Nicobar in the south. It is believed that these islands are an elevated portion of submarine mountains. It means the mountains are submerged under the ocean. Okay, but some part of the mountain is out of the ocean. Those from those mountains, this island has been. developed the andaman nicobar island has a great diversity of flora and fauna these islands lie close to equator so here also equatorial climatic conditions has been found and thick forest cover india's only active volcano is found on the barren island in andaman and nicobar island groups here you can have the pick of this this is only the active volcano in india the coastal region and island groups provide sites for fishing and port activities thank you for watching the video models popping bottles